I'm so excited. See my little excited hands? Because today is the day that um, Christine and Christina and I are releasing our brand new bi-monthly video series, which is going to be called Rediscover Your Stash. And I'm just showing you here the um, products I'm going to be using for my layout. This is a really old collection from Basic Gray called Indian Summer. So this will be a bi-monthly video series. It will come out the 15th and the 30th of every month until we get bored. And um, this video today that Christine and I are doing, we decided to pull out our punches from our stash. So every video is going to have a product or a tool that we don't normally use and we're both going to use the same product or tool. And this is, I'm just showing you the sketch I'm going to be using for my layout. And this, for this video, we are doing punches. So I pulled out four different punches from my stash. One of them is this Creative Memories Border Punch that does a little notebook edge. So I'm going to start by using that um, notebook punch. And I'm just going ahead and doing a little bit of edge. And then because I have the cre older Creative Memories Border Punch, I have to cut off the little edges because it doesn't quite work the same way as the Fiskars Punch. Um, but it works plenty well enough. So I'm just trimming off the edges here. Um, so like I said at the beginning, I chose some really older products from my stash. I chose Basic Gray's Indian Summer Collection, and then I'm going to pull a little bit of um, other products from my stash to kind of freshen up that line a little bit. What I really liked about that line was that it is white-based. So I could, while all the colors were really dark, I could go ahead and use a white cardstock to brighten them up a bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and trim my photos a little bit and now I'm going to use my layers. I chose a sketch from a Pinterest board. I have a Pinterest stash of sketches and so I'm going to try to go ahead and use those um, for some of my layouts as well. I also have a huge digital stash so maybe in future videos I'll pull some of that digital stash together and we'll use some of that as well. So the sketch has two photos um, and then two larger uh, boxes around the photos. And so I just chose busier patterns, but that also included some of the colors that are in my background paper and some of the colors that are in my um, photos. These are just uh, kind of professional photos, professional type photos that my sister took for me of my oldest son. And so I just wanted to scrap them and uh, I wanted to bring out the fall colors and the time of year it was. I, for this collection, I have, I think I just had like three sheets of paper that were full sheets and then the rest were scraps. So I'm gonna try to use up some of the scraps from that collection. I have quite, um, so I have a pretty small stash. I have one um, little paper tower full of paper and that's it, but the bottom like, five or six uh, shelving units or or slots for paper are filled with basic gray and Webster's pages because while I do kind of purge or use up some of my papers quite regularly, those two companies I tend to hoard. And um, of course, basic gray is out of business now and uh, Webster's pages doesn't do a lot of scrapbooking collections a year. So I am going to try to get through um, that stash before I don't love it anymore because I would hate to have kept it and then um, already like that line's from I think 2009. So um, yeah, I just cut this uh, one leaf pa pattern paper as a border and I'm inking my edges with the vintage photo um, ink and just putting this layout together. It pretty it went pretty fast. It's pretty easy. Um, so I will say this though: if you have something in your stash that you think you would like to see us use, feel free to leave it in the comments below. I would be totally open to suggestions. I'm sure Christina would be too, because that would be really fun to get some um, subscriber feedback. So what I'm doing here is this is paper tape from Jelly Bean Soup. I love it. It's not like washi tape. And you can cut it and you can ink it. And that is from um, my stash. And I thought it, 
I loved the polka dots. I felt like that, that polka dot pattern really freshened up this, these, um, pattern papers and made them, uh, brightened them up and gave them a little bit of like a whimsical kind of cool look. And so I just tore it in half. My second punch I'm going to use here is my square punch. That was another part of our challenge uh, for this video today and that was no circle punches. So I had to pull out my squares and um, I really love how these squares look on this layout. I was really, really happy with them where I would almost always pull my circles um, which I do love, don't get me wrong, love my circles. I really do enjoy how this look. I liked like the like Harlequin or I don't know, it just it has a really kind of neat look. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these squares down and then I'm gonna grab my two um, leaf punches, well actually three. Because the create, they're both all Creative Memories punches but the one has two different leaf patterns in it. Um, for my title, I again dug into my stash and got these thicker uh, letter, these thicker words. They're from the Kaisercraft Wildflower Collection and they're actually from last fall. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'm stumbling through this voiceover horribly today. So I'm very sorry about that. Anyway, I decided to use those two, um, thicker words for, um, my title and I do a little bit of journaling down below and punch all these leaves and get those together, um, like on the sketch. If you check below in the information for this video, I will leave Christina's, uh, channel link, her, um, I think her channel is her whole name, Christina Sorge. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, it's very hard when you read someone's name over and over and over again, but you don't always get to hear it said, especially last names. Oh, I feel like I stumble over last names. And um, now I have, so what I did was, was at the bottom of that page, I have the leaf punches, I have my title, I have um, a little bit of journaling, and now I am grabbing these brand new Falling Leaves sequin mix from Spiegel Mom Scraps. This is these are brand, this is a brand new sequin mix, brand new in their shop. This is the first time I used it, and I love it. And you will see it again. So I just used those and sprinkled them around the bottom of the page, and I'm going to do the same thing at the top. I'm going to punch more leaves because really you can never have too many fall leaves and look how pretty those are. I love those creative memories leaf punches. I think that they're beautiful. Adding more of my pretty sequins and I really love how this layout turned out. I love fall layouts. It's my favorite time of year. It's my favorite scrapbooking supplies and um, I just those colors I just adore them. So um yeah, that's going to wrap up this layout pretty much. I think right now I'm just going to add some journaling down at the bottom. And there isn't a lot of journaling, just a little tiny bit. And then we are going to splatter some gold Heidi Swap Color Shine because, I mean, it's fall. I just, we need some gold Heidi Swap Color Shine, right? Look how pretty, so pretty. And that will pretty much complete this layout. So I hope you will join Christina and I again September 30th. And, um, I don't know if I should tell you what our challenge is or not, but if you play along with our challenge and create a layout using punches, but not circles, go ahead and hashtag it, rediscover your stash and, or you can tag me or Christina. She is redefined to create, redefined creative on Instagram. Cause we'd love to see your layouts. Bye.